And uh, if you have questions that you always wanted to ask him. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> What uh, which is What oh sodium borohydride? Yeah. Oh, it's reduction. I don't know why I wrote oxidation. I was thinking reduction, I just typed it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Difference is, I guess, just the surrounding oxygen is a molecule, so it's some some way that they interact. But specifically, I, I don't have any guesstimates. So it's more stable potentially, where that hydrogen's kind of more of a it's like surrounded. Position. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, yeah. So you want to tell us that different types of atomic motion allowed for one or another product can be responsible for one of them being more energetically favorable. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, based on your spectrum that you found for me, yeah. is it, what is your judgment? Would it be possible to recognize which of the products is generated by looking at a spectrum, if they both could be produced? Okay. The spectra differ substantially enough so that one could recognize the product based on the uh, spectrum? I mean, not really. Like, the peaks are all in the same spots. I guess this one's a little bit twice as high, I guess. But as for, like, location of the peaks are in the same spots, it's just the mass they absorb, I guess. Okay. If you do not have more questions, then you should thank you.